welcome to research technique series analysis of variance in r how we are going to do that just i want to show you one excel sheet where i have got 20 observations of three persons say there are three persons 1 2 3 3 and uh, say there are these these three are students and i have recorded their iqs but i have taken up the 20 observations there are 20 observations or i have taken up the three salesmen and i i have taken their 20 observations each each, each uh, salesman's 20 observations and i want to know whether these salesmen salesman number 1 2 or 3 or if they are students whether these students 1 2 3 they are same or any one of them is different see hypothesis in case of analysis of variance should be properly written null hypothesis can be 1 is equal to 2 is equal to 3 but alternate hypothesis will be any one of them is different we can write we can write null hypothesis as 1 1 is equal to 2 is equal to 3 but alternate hypothesis should be written as any one of them is different because many people many people they write one is equal to 2 not equal to 3 one is not equal to 2 equal to 3 one is not equal to 3 equal to 2 so this becomes very odd analysis of variance simply tells us that any one of the three is different two may be equal one is different or if there are four of four variables three may be equal one may be different or they all all may be different in a different different way but any one of them is different anova analysis of variance does not tell us which one is different that is the main problem with the analysis of variance anova does not tell us which one is different this should be noted very clear anova does not tell us which one is different for that we will have to do post hoc tests there are many tests which compare 1 and 2 then 2 and 3 then 3 and 1 and then tell us which one is better which one is ranking first which one is ranking two you can do that with post hoc tests there are tucky tests sheffy tests there are many tests which can be done i'm not going to take up those tests here in this platform i'm just going to take up the ano uh, that also with r now to do this in r you will have to adjust this in proper way you will have to show all the observation in one column and group them in the second column now i am going to show you shan say 1 to 20 1 to 20 is group number 1 that i have grouped it as 1 then as this these observations again uh, uh, for forward these observations say now this is all 1 to 60 up to observation 1 to 20 is group 1 21 to 40 is group 2 
and 41 to 60 is group 3. This I have created and saved this, saved this file as a CSV file so that it is easy for the R. For me also, it is easy to read the file. I can read the file in Excel also. I can read the file. All adjustments can be done later on in the other in R also. But it is easy that I have done it in Excel sheet and saved this file as CSV. Now let us see this. I'm going to save it now. Let me first uh, see. Let me see this. What is the location of this file? Properties. The location of this file is C user Saideva OneDrive dot public desktop. So I will take up in R. Now let us go to R. Do I need to install any package? No need to install any package. I will see it as df3 and I will say read dot csv simple I'm going to write it here c dot backslash users this is my deva c users such deva one drive oblique oblique desktop oblique jks8.csv let us see now whether it does any mistake or will it accept it yes it has accepted so let me see the file now view df3 df3 so view df3 okay view me agaya all this reading group grouping is one grouping is one now let me see whether really it has accepted the group shopping or level whether it has really level i just want to see level level l e v e l s df3 dollar which one groups group it is says no grouping it has not done any grouping it says null grouping has not been done so i will have to make the groups will properly i will write it df3 dollar groups df3 dollar groups which i am going to create the ordered one and which one the ordered one which i am going to create this is the levels is equal to c within uh, commas one two three so df3 dollar group arrows ordered now this will be ordered df3 dollar group which the levels which it will this is going to create C one two three. This is what the levels now. This same grouping which the levels you have uh, grouped it. Okay. Now this has been done. Now let us see the group levels now. Now let us see the levels now. Levels DF three dollar group. Now levels are one two three. Earlier see here the levels were shown as null. Here when I first time did it, but when I did this command DF three group dollar df3 group level c one two three now the levels have been created one two three so now the this df3 knows which are my levels which are my levels group is one which one is group one which one is group two which one is group three a, a b i'm just going to a b is any any name huh? any there is nothing as such what is this here? but a o v AOV means analysis of variables. Now, AOV is analysis of variables. Analysis of variance should be DF3 reading because this one is reading versus 
I'm going to write it here as a delta df3 group dollar group. So I'm going. To, I have said I want analysis of variance df3 dollar reading versus df3 dollar group comma. What is my data? I will have to tell this. What is my data? Data is df. So now this this will do analysis of variance, and it will be there in the AV. Now AV, I want summary. I want summary of AV. What is that summary? It will give me the ANOVA table. It will give me the ANOVA table. Now it has given me the ANOVA table. I am just going to view this. Console in a large. So this is my ANOVA table. Summary: This all is your ANOVA table. Now, what is the meaning of this? This is my group. How many groups are there? This is my group. How many groups are there? Groups are there three. So, because in every group, first I am going to find the mean. Analysis of variance. The procedure is first you find the mean of each every group. And then you find the variances in each group, and then those are there. Three minus one is two. Now total residuals, residuals will come in the within the within the all groups. Total entries are sixty. Total observations are sixty. But we have divided those sixty into three groups. So sixty minus three is fifty-seven. So total of this all degrees will come 59. Sum of square is 2.26. The mean of that is 2.26 divided by 2. That is coming as mean 12.68. And 57. This sum of square is coming as 5975 divided by 57 is coming 104.8. So F value is coming. This. 1,262.8 divided by 104. So F value is coming 12.05, and it has all it clear tells you that your P value is 0.0004. यानी yani it is 5 है ना minus e raised to power minus e minus 0.5. It means decimal से पहले 4.0 होना चाहिए And then should be four, so it will be point zero 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 four. So it means it is less than point zero five. It means that we will have to accept the alternate hypothesis. And it also says the significance orders are given. This man, this means three three stars. Three stars means the point zero 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 one. Two stars means 0.01. One star means 0.05, and no star means 0.01. So that is gone. So it means it is statistically significant at 0.01 percent. 0.1 percent. 0.0001 is the. So it this means we will have to accept the alternate hypothesis. Means any one of them is. Any one of them is different, so it is very easy to do a nova in uh, in uh, R. Very easy to do a nova in R. How you do that? First, you fetch the file which is in the CSV form, and uh, all the data has been put in order, and the grouping has been created, and then uh, you see the level. If the levels are none, then you create the levels by ordered ordered command. So df3 we are just a data data we have created dollar group ordered which are the levels you are going to create one two three so this is the level if there are four groups you can create four levels five levels and these levels can also be created as text value there is no need to create one two three four you can create any text values so levels are there so now av is equal to this one analysis of variance. You may submit your research work at Journal of Global Economy, RCSS India. Org. 
your work is evaluated by peers with double blind methodology you will get comments for your work thank you